The Honorable Chairman Professor Tyre Jagger played host to visiting officers and students of the Zimbabwe Staff College who were on an educational tour to the INEC headquarters. The chairman expressed his gratitude to the visiting delegates that they couldn't have chosen a better time. Uh, we are pleased to have you this morning and um, uh, we join in welcoming you to Nigeria and uh, we also uh, extend our best wishes uh, to you on this visit and we hope you have a very useful, uh, productive uh, stay in Nigeria. Um, we've faced many challenges in the past uh, and uh, there is great national concern uh, for getting it right uh, this time. There are also very formidable challenges uh, uh, which we face as a commission and what we have been trying to do in the last one month is to create the uh, uh, framework uh, as well as the operational guidelines uh, for uh, being able to discharge this responsibility and meeting the aspirations of Nigerians for free and fair elections within the constitutionally defined uh, time frame. Operations of elections in a country the size of Nigeria with preparing for the voters register and organizing the logistics and the operations of the election. Uh, the third lesson uh, uh, is that citizens participation is very very important in elections and in the Nigerian context there have been problems associated with citizens involvement in the process. I think we've got to a situation where increasingly many citizens have become indifferent to the political process generally and to the electoral process in particular. People now the other thing is as we prepare for the elections we also have to take into account the recent constitutional amendments uh, in Nigeria. Um, a few weeks uh, after our commission was inaugurated, the a process of constitutional amendment which commenced uh, almost a year or so previously uh, came to an end, must be held in January. So um, there are certain timelines which are uh, incorporated in the uh, 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 electoral amendment and which also require an amendment to the electoral act. So, and the electoral act has also now been uh, revised so that it becomes consistent with the amended constitution. This raises a formidable challenge. We as a commission have realized that Although there is technically a voter's register in place, the credibility of that voter's register is near zero and therefore there is a need for a fresh voter registration to have a much more remarkably improved uh, voter's register in readiness for the uh, 2011 elections. Now obviously the challenge that this poses then is that we have to attempt to do a relatively more credible voters register within a period of just about four months. And to be able to do this successfully in a country like Nigeria, given its size, its uh, 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 I mean, uh, population and, and demography and terrain, we have to think of a methodology which will enable us reach citizens to the nearest places of their residence, and that is the poly unit. And we have therefore devised a methodology which will enable us to do registration at the poly units. And there are 120,000 poly units uh, uh, in Nigeria uh, by the records uh, presently. It's uh, accessories for fingerprinting and uh, uh, webcams and uh, uh, cameras and, 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 and um, printers to be able to print temporary voters register uh, uh, to all of these uh, polling units. But given the time we have, this is the best way
to do it. The best way, but perhaps a very, very expensive way of doing it. We also have to organize voter education programs in order to uh, enlighten citizens and make them aware of the expectations of what they are supposed to do uh, during the voter registration uh, uh, exercise. And of course, again, all of these uh, operations have to be coordinated simultaneously because while we organize for voter registration, we also have to prepare for the actual conduct of the election. So I hope this, to some extent, shares with you uh, what we are preparing to do, the challenges that we are going to face, and how what we are trying to do in order to address these challenges. Thank members of the Zimbabwean team for this visit.